Good morning everyone, it's Brett here, Lionheart84, your UK exotic fruit growing enthusiast. Um, I just thought I'd do a short video on grafting. Not grafting that I'm going to carry out because that would be like the blind leading the blind as I've never done any grafting, although sometime or other I'd like to try it. But um, what was interesting me was the possibilities with grafting that you wouldn't expect. Um, what particularly caught my attention is um, I've been growing some loquats from seed which I planted this summer as you can see they're doing quite nicely but I also wanted to try and get one or two name varieties so I managed to find uh, a Mrs Cookson and a variety called Oliver now obviously when I bought them I was expecting to have uh, plants turn up that I thought would be rooted would be simply rooted cuttings off the parent plant but interestingly when they arrived it was quite obvious to see that both plants had in fact been grafted I don't know what that type of grafts called I think they use a special tool to cut it but what particularly interested me is it was quite obvious to see <coughs> that the was clearly very different to the main loquat stem. So out of interest I contacted the nursery just to see what they were growing on. <coughs> Excuse me, and it turns out that the rootstocks used for these loquats uh, are quince rootstocks. Now what particularly caught my attention is that the loquat is obviously an evergreen subtropical fruit, whereas the quince is a cool climate deciduous fruit so I was absolutely amazed to find out that you could in fact graft evergreens in some cases onto deciduous plants because you think that their um, the deciduous plants would have a long period of dormancy whereas the evergreens would want to keep on growing um, <coughs> plenty of growth buds on the loquats at the moment so <coughs> now I did a little bit of research and it turns out that loquats and quinces, although they come from different parts of the world and have obviously one's evergreen and one's deciduous, are both members of the Rosaceae family. So they're in the rose family. And there are apparently cases where you can successfully graft evergreens onto deciduous or even probably deciduous onto evergreens. Now it doesn't mean it doesn't necessarily follow because I believe that the black sapote or uh, chocolate pudding fruit which is an evergreen member of the persimmon or diasporas family I don't believe anybody has successfully grafted the evergreen uh, black sapote onto a normal deciduous persimmon I mean if it has been done successfully I, I haven't heard about it but it would be interesting to know but um, I think the general like quince root stocks are very commonly used over here because um, I think they have a dwarfing effect on a lot of uh, deciduous fruit trees and they tend to be more rot resistant and they're hardier so they're considered a very good vigorous rootstock for for growing a lot of deciduous fruit trees I and mean, it's very common for for other deciduous fruits to go on to quinces provide like apples provide the member of the same family because in a lot of cases the apples themselves would have very very large um would be very large growing plants so they put them onto a quince rootstock as it uh, as it dwarfs it but it would be interesting to see how these develop on a deciduous rootstock um, I mean obviously you can't take a, a citrus fruit and graft it onto an apple or quince because they are from a completely different genus or family but this is quite unusual because these are actually a completely separate species it would be like taking um, a, a fijao or a pineapple guava and trying to graft it onto uh, on, onto a tropical guava stem, it might be possible because they're from the, they're all from the Myrtacea family. But um, this is the first time I've actually sort of come across or purchased plants that were actually grafted evergreen onto deciduous. So it'll be interesting to see what happens in the future and what effect it has on their growth. But at the moment, they look very um, they look very vigorous, and what I'm hoping that will happen is they will fruit a little bit earlier 
than loquats otherwise fruit because they can normally they can easily take five to seven years to reach fruiting size but perhaps being on a quince root stock it will induce flowering and fruiting a little bit earlier but we'll see what happens in the next year or two provided i keep them alive and obviously i will do updates in the future but this was just a video to show that you can in some circumstances you might be able to graft evergreen plants or fruits onto deciduous root stocks the first time I've ever experienced it but so far so good and we'll see what happens in the future so um, it's about five degrees here in Stenton today it's uh, which is about 41 Fahrenheit so it's not too bad outside as there's not much breeze I'm hoping to put some Christmas decorations up today as we're uh, now to the beginning of December but uh, that was a short video on loquats and that's the seedling grown one sown in about mm, I think it's back in about maybe maybe about April or May from fruits that I bought in the local shop they seem to be doing fine at the moment in fact I've got a, quite a few of those I think I had about about eight or nine of them come up and they all look fine should be okay over winter as loquats are certainly hardy down to at least minus 10 centigrade and it's unlikely to go much below minus two here where I'm in uh, on the east side of London in the UK Anyway, thanks for watching everybody out now. Catch up with you later. <coughs> welcome to, uh, as usual, like the video, or you can thumbs down it if you want. Um, you're welcome to share it, subscribe to my channel if I've got anything of interest to you, and hit the bell if you'd like to get notifications of those future videos. Brett out. Catch you in the next one.